Welcome to the supermarkets of the future. They may look and feel like the supermarkets we are all used to and stock the same bread, butter and bananas, but these shops are now fitted out with more than £1 million of the latest technology that their bosses promise will put an end to our biggest frustration of queuing and our most persistent crime of shoplifting. Jill French, a legal secretary in her 30s, wearing a sharp navy suit and matching beret, has just left a Tesco Express on London's Hoban Viaduct empty-handed. It's coming up to 6.30 p.m. on a Thursday, and like dozens of others, French has popped in for a few essentials on her way home. I just went in to grab pasta, milk and some broccoli, she says. But there was such a queue I got frustrated and walked out. An eight-minute walk away is another near-identical Tesco Express, where there are no queues. This shop is the cleverest of all the 2,700 Tescos in the UK. There are no checkouts, self-scanning or traditional, no checkout assistance, and in theory no chance of shoplifting. This Tesco, called GetGo, is filled with thousands of cameras, weighted shelves and artificial intelligence technology that watches your every move, figures out what you've bought and bills you directly as you walk out. It's not just Tesco that is trialing these new smart supermarkets. Retailers across the UK and the rest of the world are racing to deploy rival technology. The model for all of them is similar. First, you must download an app, register a credit card and scan a QR code on your phone to enter through train station style gates. Barriers prevent those without the app from entering the shop. Once inside, the technology follows you around the store recording every item you pick up and put back. When you're done you just walk out, and after a few minutes your phone alerts you as to how much you've spent. The supermarkets say time pressed, easily frustrated people are crying out for a better, hassle-free shopping experience and if these trial stores are successful they will roll out the technology across the country. It's almost 74 years since the first British supermarket opened in Manor Park, East London. At this branch of the London Cooperative Society, customers could walk round the store and take items off the shelves by themselves. It was revolutionary. In the years before, Shoppers had to present the shopkeeper at a counter with a list of items that their assistants would fetch. Choosing your own tomatoes was banned, and touching the products could lead to prosecution. As with many innovations, the self-service, supermarket concept was exported from the US, where retail pioneer Clarence Saunders opened Piggly Wiggly in Memphis, Tennessee, in 1916. If you're wondering about the name, Saunders said it was named, so people will ask that very question. Today all shops, big or small, follow a similar concept. But our retail needs are evolving. The days of the big weekly shop are over, with Britons going to a supermarket at least twice a week, according to YouGov, while a growing minority admit to popping in more than twice a day. The new generation of AI stores is meant to respond to these changes but are there dangers in tinkering with one of the last remaining social levelers? Supermarkets are more than just places to buy food, they provide a space for a daily mixing of people of different classes and backgrounds in our increasingly siloed world. All of the supermarkets say the technology is designed to make shoppers' lives easier, but experts say the real desire is to improve their bottom line as they can cut back on the wage bill and save some of the £5.5 billion lost every year to shoplifting and employee theft. Illustration, Pete Reynolds. If AI takes over, will those without access to the latest smartphone be barred from the great supermarket melting pot? Will lonely older people lose their friendly chat with the cashier, which could be their only conversation of the day? Research backs up the retailer's hunch about our frustrations with shopping. A recent survey by packaging company DS Smith found that more than a third of 2,000 people polled would walk out of the store rather than wait five minutes in a checkout queue, and 46% said they were so irritated by queuing that they would consider not coming back to the shop again. Laura Saunter, a senior retail analyst at the consumer trends analytic firm WGSN, says supermarkets have spent years trying to bust queues, 
because they are the customer's number one pain point. Many of us are now so impatient that waiting a few minutes for a checkout assistant to become free can feel like an unacceptable hassle in a world where technology dominates and instant gratification is expected. Will AI stores send checkout workers the same way as the elevator operator? These stores are positioned at millennial parents who are busy, they want to be in and out, they don't want to waste their time, Saunter says. And younger people, Generation Z, just don't want to interact with store staff. Tesco has already tested the technology at its employee-only supermarket in Wellin Garden City for more than a year. Amazon has 15 stores that use similar technology, including one almost directly across the street from the Tesco on Hoban. The supermarket's analytics team seem to have a thing for the central London neighborhood, with Sainsbury's also opening a trial smart supermarket on the same street in late November. The race is on. Aldi is preparing to open a similar smart store in Greenwich, South London. Morrison's is testing its own vision of the technology, codenamed Project Sarah, at its Bradford headquarters, and plans to quickly roll out dozens of small stores at busy locations. Another two of the Amazon stores opened in Chingford and East Sheen shortly before Christmas. A recent leak of internal documents reveals that these are just baby steps onto the UK high street for Amazon, which was founded by the world's second richest person, Jeff Bezos in 1995, and is now the second largest retailer on the planet, collecting sales of more than $1.2 billion of £900 million every day. The internet giant is planning to open about 60 more UK stores next year, followed by 100 in 2023 and another 100 in 2024, according to a report by the blog Business Insider. Amazon has long been accused of attempting to kill off the high street by encouraging us all to buy almost everything online. But could its desire to now open bricks and mortar stores revitalize our urban centers? All of the supermarkets say the technology is designed to make shoppers' lives easier, but experts say the real desire is to improve their bottom line, as they can cut back on the wage bill and save some of the £5.5 billion lost every year to shoplifting and employee theft. The most frequently stolen items from UK stores include spirits, sirloin steaks, razor blades, cosmetics, infant formula and batteries, according to the Centre for Retail Research CR. Cheese also makes the top 10, with posh brie's and aged camembert often stolen to order by restaurants. Retailers in Scandinavia are ahead of the UK, opening shops without checkout assistance, security guards, or any other members of staff present. Instead, customers use their phones to open the doors of shipping container-like stores, shop completely alone and walk out to the beep of the bill notification on their phone. In less than three years, Stockholm-based startup Lifts has opened 29 of the tiny stores in remote villages across Sweden, which in some instances had lost their last corner shops decades ago. Julia Ray, a beekeeper in the village of Veckholm, 60 miles east of Stockholm, said the opening of the lifts shopping box added to rather than took away from community spirit. You go inside and get something, and maybe someone else is here and you can have a chat, she says as she picks up essentials and restocks the shelves with her own honey at the same time. While fitting out supermarkets with the new technology costs about pound 1m per store, the firms installing it claim it will pay for itself within 18 months, because it will hopefully eliminate theft. With this technology, you can't really steal, we know who is in the store and we know where all the products are, says Joir Holzer, who helped develop the technology for Trigo, an Israeli firm that fitted out the Tesco store, and is working with other major retailers across the world. With these systems it cuts out not just shoplifting, but also mistakes, errors and employee fraud, he says. These are problems that all retailers have and could be solved. In the basket, shoppers scan a barcode to enter smart supermarkets. Photograph, Ben Stevens for Parsons Media. Supermarkets lose about 1.4% of their combined £200 billion annual revenue to shrinkage, industry code for customer, 
or employee theft and admin errors.